Arsenal 2, Crystal Palace 2. Late goal from Alexandra Lacazette in order to give us an equaliser and get a point from the game. But what an absolute disgraceful and diabolical performance from Arsenal that was. And he's getting in a habit of keep saying this, to be honest with you. Arteta out. He needs to go. He's, he's well out of his depth for Arsenal Football Club. You know, we can't be managing this team and using it like an apprenticeship and trying to, to gain some experience and then fuck off somewhere else and, and, and do a good job. Because we don't know how long it's going to take Arteta to even come good. That's even if he is going to come any good. And we can't risk that. We move from our greatest ever manager in Arsene Wenger yeah, to move forward and not push back. Now we're nestling at 12th in the league with no style of play. Yeah, Teams are looking at us thinking, yeah, can't wait to play Arsenal. All we've got to do is put it on them a little bit, you know, bully them up a little bit and we'll, we'll, get, we'll get the three points. That's not an issue. We played against Tottenham. Looked like we was expansive in the first half. Second half came out, it was flat. And to be honest with you, it just must have been a bad day in the office for Tottenham because even before the Tottenham game, we was flat. We was winning 1-0. We didn't have no no creativity. We couldn't finish teams off. We couldn't kill the game off. We couldn't manage the game well. It's an absolute joke at the moment. Arsenal Football Club is, is becoming a shambles and we need to fix it real quick. And us fans can't accept this mediocrity of sticking with with the manager when he's finished eight twice eighth in a row get me we should be with the players we have at least in the europa league spot or challenging for the europa league spot should be nowhere near the top four because we haven't got the squad for it and that's the truth we need to we need some good investment and um, we need a new manager for me antonio conte who he likes to take on projects he does well with projects you know he's proven it at chelsea he's proven it at inter milan so for me why not he's free he's available Go and sign him up before anyone else signs him up. Sell the project to him. Give him some money that he wants. And let's try to get Arsenal Football Club back up there. Because we've been poor for so many years. And those fans are just here spending money, watching the game, buying merchandise. And we're not getting nothing in return apart from poor, dead performances. And we need to really fix this up. Patrick Vieira came back to Arsenal yesterday. This is an Arsenal great, get me. He's been in a job for about three months and he absolutely schooled Mikel Arteta. He was down within the first 10 minutes and managed the game very well. He was without his best player in Wilfred Zaha. And he's still shown what a good manager that he is. Better than Arteta. This just proves why we have to get rid of him and we need a new start. Because if we just let it go and go and go, we're just going to keep falling and falling and falling and falling back. Because I'm telling you now, Arteta is not going to end up getting us a European place the way we are playing football right now. We're at home. We've not beat Crystal Palace at home for four years. This ain't Liverpool. This ain't United. This is Crystal Palace Football Club. And we're not beating Crystal Palace in four years at the Emirates. Something is going wrong. And two of them two of them years, Arteta's been in charge of. So we need to look at this and think, as a fan base, where are we right now as a football club? Because we're in the mud and we need to get out of that mud real quick. And the only way of doing that is by replacing the manager also, the owners, but by the looks of it, they ain't looking to sell anytime soon. So we can only try to, to do what we can do in order to fix things slightly. And the only thing that I can think of right now is bringing a manager who's experienced, bringing a manager who's proven, who's done it before. And that will give us a chance to, to climb up the table and get a, get Champions League. Because it's, what, it's been since, what, five years we've not had no Champions League football that is disgraceful for a club of Arsenal football club. Five years without no Champions League football is an absolute joke. So, yeah, guys, that's my preview. And, I mean, my preview. That's my post-match thoughts on the game. Absolute joke. Diabolical performance. And to be honest with you, it was ridiculous. We just need to move on fast and we need a new manager ASAP because I can't take it no more.